Hey guys, my name is Ben Howard. We're out here at Jackson Park to check out their disc golf course. I got a tournament out here this weekend, so I'm going to be playing that layout. I'm going to put it right here on the screen. But uh, So it's not going to be shorts or longs, really. It's just going to be whatever the tournament is. But this one's it's very tightly wooded with the first three holes being actually fairly open. But once we get into the, the wooded section of the course, you'll be able to see there's a lot of elevation change. There's a lot of really tightly wooded fairways and there's a lot of rough out here you can get into so if that sounds interesting stay tuned all right guys we're on hole one par three 312 basket straight ahead slightly downhill really just got to decide which gap you're going to go through you can go wide right with the backhand or right hand backhand hyzer you can go forehand through the left gap or you just try and push it straight up the gut i'm going to go wide hyzer around this tree to the right and just let it spike in right next to the basket Oh, dang it. You threw. Ah, dang it. There we go. Oh, dang. Close. Whew. I gotta get used to playing in cold weather again. It's been like 70 the last week. So. Okay, so a slight change of plans. Apparently we're playing two layouts this weekend. Uh, we're playing from the same tee pads just to do di two different baskets. So in this video, I'm just gonna play both and I'll just have different scores for each layout. Um, but for this one, the red basket, which is the short ones, it's 280 straight ahead. Only thing to really worry about is there's a little pond off to the left, which come, can come up fast. So you really got to make sure you either put it basket high or off to the right side of the basket. You don't want to leave the thing to the left. And then the yellow basket, it's a par four and it's on the other side of the water. It's actually one of my favorite holes out here because it's just, it's very pretty, but I've lost too many daggum discs to that lake. So really I just want to lay up to about where the red basket is, if not a little bit past it. And then I can throw a little, chip shot up to the basket from there for every tee shot i'm just going to go red basket then yellow basket so this is for the red basket oh pulled it sit down okay dang it oh Okay, apparently some wind out there I didn't feel. I think got lifted. Oh, drop in for me. Oh, sit down. Okay, I sat. It's a little bit farther back than I'd like to be for the shot, but let me get that forehand warmed up. Little early release, so it's fine. I can get up and down for a par from there. Ah, dang it. Mm. I need to actually give myself a look at this one. Needed that. Thank you. All right, guys, we're on hole three, par three, 357. Basket's just straight head up the hill. Um, this one, we only have the one basket, so I'm just going to count it for both uh, both scores. But it's, we got a right to left wind. Basket's a little higher than it feels, so I'm just going to have to try and just pump something up there a little bit more out to the right than I would normally throw. Just kind of see if that wind will drag it off to the left. Throw it to the right, let it fade in. Oh, I threw it in the ground. Stay up. Go. Okay. Should have a 150 foot approach shot from there. 
Yeah, got a little bit of a headwind, so I'm just gonna throw the harp just to make sure I don't flub it up with the sonic. Still give it a little bit of a run though. Oh, almost. Seems like there's always some kind of wind on these first three opening holes, so just gotta learn how to play these holes in these winds. All right, guys, we're on hole four, par three, 230. Basket's down this way, slightly off to the right. Biggest thing is you want to throw something that'll kind of stall and slow down because it uh, the hill kind of just gradually goes down right there at the basket. Uh, dang. Close. Just pulled a little bit. Oh, that's so early. Dang it. That's a putt from there, but that's a dangerous putt. Swing in. Oh, second one of those I had today. My putt's been a little off lately. It's like I can't consistently putt nose up or nose down. It's just kind of flip flopping. I'm trying to work on just keeping it nose up, but I end up doing some of the stuff like that sometimes. But it's a process. All right, guys, we're on hole five, par three, two twelve. Basket's just straight ahead. You can see. Biggest thing is you just want to decide which gap you're going for. You can kind of go forehand, left gap. Uh, right gap is the main one everybody goes through, which is the one I'm probably going to go through. But biggest thing is that the basket slopes away, kind of like the last hole. So you got to have good speed control on the shot. It's not quite as bad, but you still got to keep it in mind on this one. Got a little bit of a headwind coming through the trees. So I'm going to disc up just a little bit, see if I can get, just got to get this thing to fade and to kind of stall. I like the height, it's clean. It might be a little short, but that's that's gonna be a good shot. Put it off to the right a little bit, right at the band, and let it drop in. Ah, too high. And that headwind lifted it. Oh. That's why you gotta read the wind. I like the height. Ah, man. Yeah, it seems like I'm putting, like when I putt high, I get it nose up, but I'm trying to put it low, I'm putting it nose down. So, I don't know. It's just some kind of, just something I got to work through mentally. Like that one came out nose down, but I needed it nose down in this. But, oh yeah, and there's a bunch of disc left out here, so. You got a disc you're missing on hole five out here. Might want to come out here and look. All right, guys, we're on hole six. This is another hole where we're gonna have two baskets to play to. With the red one being right there, it's like 200 feet. Nothing really to worry about. Just gotta kind of throw something over stable that'll spike into the side of the hill. Biggest thing, just work, don't want it to roll away. But then the yellow basket's a par four. You wanna push it, probably just Throw it as far as you can straight, but it's kind of a weird hole because you've got like the baskets like kind of got like two separate fairways that kind of meet in the middle, and you want don't want to you want to be in line with one or the other, and if you're in the middle between them, you don't really have a look at the basket, and if you're short or long of the either gap, you don't really have a look at the basket. So best play I found is just throw something that'll kind of sit on the side of this hill. Just stick there so you kind of have like, you don't have good footing, but you have a much easier shot into that gap. It's 
Say hi. Say hi. Yeah, that's perfect. I'm going to throw that same shot for the yellow basket, but about, I don't know, 60 feet farther? About where this log is ahead of us. Same line, just harder and a little farther. That needs to get down, but it might be too far left. Okay. Yeah, it might be a little too far left, but let's see how it goes. Yeah. Uh, you should probably, you can probably tell how sloped this is because, like, I got y'all probably same distance from me to the basket as you are to the basket. So it's very, very sloped on the side of this hill. So the fact that I got that to stick like that's very lucky. Okay. From here, you can see the first gap I was talking about right there. They actually cleared this out a lot more. Well, I remember, so you actually can kind of just put it up here. Just really nice because you really had to be in like two specific spots or else you had no look at the basket. This was all just like filled in. So this is nice. I'm just going to push this out here through this gap and kind of swing around that oak tree. Oh! Dang it! It went in the ground. The basket does, the ground does slope way behind the basket, but it's not too bad. This is downhill. There we go. Okay. That's the thing. I got to get that low putt nose up. Because then it just pushes straight. And the head and that nose up holds it up. So it goes farther. All right. So on hole seven, we got another double basket situation. So red baskets, let's see, par three, 240. Just kind of just want to push it straight at it. You can throw it forehand through this left gap, have it swing through the trees, but really just whatever you want to do for that shot. And then the yellow basket's off, way off to the left. Really just want to have something um, throw it back in that'll push through this gap and then fade and push forward towards the basket on that shot. The yellow basket's kind of a bonus birdie, but the red one is one I really want to get. Oh, dang it. Okay. Well, saw it roll for a second, but I think I'm still inside the circle for that one. So. Um, okay. Let's see. I'm going to try and go for something that's a little understable so it'll kind of flip up but not flip up all the way. <sighs> nice amount of highs there. A little early. Sit down. Okay. So probably about the same thing as some of the on the red basket. Just kind of off to the left a little farther than I'd like, but still should have a, a look at it at least. Feels like I'm in the, the wind's coming from from my back, so put this I need to put this a little higher. Right at the band, let it fall in. go so yeah looks like they're about the same putt i'm just gonna have to put a little bit higher and a little bit of ante on it stay up oh almost didn't have enough juice on it anyway there we go all right guys we're on hole eight we got two baskets again. Red one straight ahead of us. Par three. Uh, let's see what is it? Two eighty. I'm not really sure what the line is. I'm gonna take. I probably. I just. I think I'm just gonna throw straight mid range and just trying to put it right about where that oak tree is straight ahead of us. Just give myself a, a putt at it. But 
The yellow basket's a par four down on the other side of the hill past that basket. I don't know which position it's in. I would assume it would be in the long, the longer position, which is about 490. And um, basically just want to try and hit the same gap, but have something that'll push and turn and just get down there really as far as I can, see if I got an upshot, because the basket's on like a 45 degree slope, sloping away from the basket. So really want to have an easy approach shot for this, for the birdie on this one. Get through it. Ah, okay, sit. Okay, that'll give me like 80 foot approach shot for that one. That's not bad. If I can get past that tree though, that should be, that'd be really good. Let's see. All right, I just gotta hit this gap. Hard. Oh, same tree. Dang. Okay. Ah, dang it. That would have thought about an 80 footer. See if we can give this one a little bit of a run. Oh, that's terrible. Sit, 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 sit. Oh, gosh. Ugh. I couldn't have found that much worse. I could try the forehand turnover, but I don't really, I, you don't want to be on the right side of this fairway at all. So I'm just going to try and get this down. Nice angle. Get a, go to the left. Just like that. Just going to give it high, let it float to the left. Oh, ah. didn't have it high enough or get it really bad at all. But, well, I feel like I'm getting a little bit more consistent. It's just something i got to work through with that nose up, nose down. Those putts, I can tell I'm getting the nose up. It's just doing it consistently. Okay, so I was right on the tee pad. This is this is a long position, which is really nice. Oh, I like it a lot. It's really hard, very rewarding. I just gotta lay this up, let it hit like 40 feet short of the basket, and let it slide up. Yep, perfect. Because from here you can see how. There's literally nothing from behind this basket, so. But to get out of here with the bogey is not bad. I'll, a par is getting strokes from people in this hole. All right, guys, we're hole nine, final hole of the video. It's par, uh, it's par three, 160, straight up, the, straight up the hill. Biggest thing you want to worry about is just trying to get this thing to somehow land flat and not roll back down the hill. It's very... Kind of a 50-50 on this one, whether or not you get a roll back, especially if you put yourself long. Really, biggest thing, just put yourself as close as you can to the basket and just hope you stick there. Because if you have a long putt on this one, it's very scary. Uh, fall, fall. Okay. I've got a look at the basket. Just gotta make sure I hit middle. So I might never see this disc again. Well, hit middle. Oh, curl, curl. No. Dang it. I might still have a... I don't think it ran, rolled all the way down the hill, but... <sighs> Dang it. Let's make a really good putt putt here. Come on. Oh, I put it right too. It didn't, didn't fade on me at all. Oh, well. That's about what you expect on this hole. You, it's pretty rare you actually take a par. It's either you birdie it or you buggy it. All right, guys, that finished up the front nine out here. Whew. 
I'm out of breath. This course will take it out of you. This a lot of hills, a lot of elevation, so not surprised I'm out of breath, but let me know what you think of this style where I kind of do two layouts at once. If you'd like for me to do it again or I think I should just kind of cut it out. But we'll see how it goes. Thank you all for watching. Bye.